Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I know you're here to listen to Ambassador Crocker and not me. I just want to give him a very brief introduction. Um, his exploits uh, are well known, I'm sure, to most of you, uh, particularly most recently his service as our ambassador in Iraq. Uh, he was happily retired. And then, as he just told us, he got drafted uh, to come back and, and serve our country once again uh, as our ambassador to Afghanistan. Uh, I did not have the privilege of being here during the ambassador's first trip to Kandahar. Uh, some people do anything to get an ambassadorial visit, so uh, I'm very happy that he has returned uh, to be with us today. Uh, and uh, before he starts his remarks, I want to present him with our brand new KPRT t-shirt. Oh, how cool is this? Thank you, um, thank you very much, Debbie, um, and good afternoon to um, uh, to all of you. I'm um, down here today for you know just one reason, um, and that is to to thank you all, um, military and civilians, our international partners. Um, uh, our Afghan colleagues, um, everyone who makes up the contingent here at Camp Nathan Smith um, for what you did two days ago. Um, uh, I'm deeply honored to have um, had the privilege just now to pin on the um, combat infantry badge to uh, 10 soldiers who uh, uh, represent the many who have earned them. Um, and I just say parenthetically, uh, I was pleased to note that two out of those ten were women. Um, uh, it's a new world, it's a new military, and our women uh, carry a tremendous amount of, uh, of the burden of keeping our company safe overseas. Um, uh, they're in the fight uh, as, as much as anyone else, and uh, glad to see them uh, recognized for it. Um, uh, thanks to your preparedness, your vigilance, your determination, um, that attack was a defeat for our adversaries, the Afghan forces that you and your colleagues helped to train, performed admirably, um, and we now continue the mission jointly of building a stable and secure Kandahar. I have to thank in particular uh, Colonel Kolosheski uh, for his leadership of Combined Task Force Warhouse, Command Sergeant Major DeLosa, um, Colonel Cook, Commander of Task Force Bison, who led the fight, um, Command Sergeant Major um, Vanakleesen. Uh, you got great troops under your command, and that owes a lot to the excellence of the command you provide. Um, our own provincial reconstruction team, uh, under the very experienced leadership of uh, Debbie Kingsland, uh, Commander Mike Murnane, uh, and John McNamara, uh, responded with calm and efficiency to secure our, our personnel. Um, uh, the contractors, local staff and others um, uh, uh, also played their role and in particular I, uh, I understand that uh, the mess hall cooks um, uh, stood to their positions uh, throughout the episode uh, preparing food for those in bunkers and on the, and on the perimeter. Your training prepared you for any contingency. Um, it prepared you for Thursday. Uh, your actions saved lives. The response to the attack um, was led by the Afghan police. Um, and it was both focused 
and effective. Um, again, it is our partnership and the training and mentoring that we have provided um, that has now brought Afghan security forces to the point where uh, they are the ones uh, who can take an objective, respond to a threat um, uh, with some assistance uh, uh, from us. And you can reflect with pride uh, that the events of Thursday um, have made it absolutely clear uh, for the people of Kandahar who are the enemies um, and who are the defenders. You are the defenders along with your Afghan National Security Force brothers. We need to be forever grateful to those who risked their lives to save others in this camp. We mourn the loss of our Afghan colleague Fahim Abdullah from the Kandahar City District Support Team. We pray for the speedy recovery of our military colleagues who were wounded in action. Again, I, I thank you for your commitment to this mission. Kandahar is Afghan, Afghanistan's second largest city, but it may be Afghanistan's most important city because this is where the Taliban got started and this is where the Taliban want to return. Uh, your presence and the presence of a determined set of Afghan security forces, a determined Afghan civilian population um, uh, of Kandahar are the guarantee uh, that will not happen. Uh, so um, again, I thank you. Um, um, I need to mention one other name um, uh, because he's the guy who's looking through the sights of that video camera uh, right at me. Uh, that's Staff Sergeant uh, Walter Talens, public affairs officer from RC South, who just happened to be up here to pick up some equipment. Uh, uh, and instead of uh, picking up the equipment, he picked up his weapon and uh, guarded one of the doors, protecting our, our civilian PRT members throughout the night. Uh, that is an example, again, of the, uh, the courage, the resilience, the quick thinking, the capacity to, to do the right thing um, uh, when there's no one around to give orders. Um, uh, Staff Sergeant, you and all your colleagues represent the best in America. And as America's uh, senior representative to the government of Afghanistan, I have to tell you all, I am deeply, deeply proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.